Shalom, which means peace in the Hebrew tongue. It's your brother Banyanyan from GMS Mississippi. Uh, and first and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, glory and honor to the Creator in the name of His only begotten Son, which in the Hebrew is Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash, in the name of the Most Holy Spirit. Uh, today I have a video entitled or questioned, What Have You Done For Me Lately? And that's going to be the question that, that, that Yahweh Shai is going to answer and not answer when he returns and break those clouds crack those clouds okay because everybody upon planet earth likes to reference or question what have you done for me what have you done for me but what have you done for another man what have you done for the lord himself because what you do upon the or, or for the man upon planet earth whom you do see you do unto the lord whom you do not see, you know? And what you do on earth, you you do unto righteous men. The scriptures say to know that when thou doest good, thou knowest to whom thou doest that good for. So I'm gonna start here in 1 John chapter 3 and verse 17. But whoso hath this world's good and seeth his brother have need and shutteth, shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai in him? My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth, right? So if you have this world's goods, that's, that doesn't cover only uh, so-called goodly things or materialistic things. When you have the spirit of the Heavenly Father, when you have compassion, when you have love, when you have the truth, when you have knowledge, when you have understanding, all of those jewels and gems should be placed in the crown of a like-minded man, a like-minded individual. Because wherever you go, your light is supposed to shine unto the world that that, that, that you are indeed a beacon of Yahweh Hashem and Yahweh Shai that shined forth throughout the entire planet Earth. So if you're unable to, to, to carry that torch wherever you go, then your light is dim. Then your, your, that drizzle that you deem a light is actually not shining bright. And therefore, the Lord himself will have no need of you, right? Because pursuant to, to the book of Revelation, he said what? That if you are not hot and you're not cold, but yet lukewarm, the Heavenly Father is going to spew you out of his mouth, right? So, I'm going start at 17 again. But whoso hath this world's good and seeth his brother in need, and, and seeth his brother have need, and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai in him? The love of the Heavenly Father is not in you because if you can see a man upon planet Earth in need or in dire straits and you have no assistance, no help, no aid for that particular individual, I mean none whatsoever. If somebody is lacking in the spirit and you can't replenish them in the spirit, someone's lacking uh, physically, you can't aid them. Likewise, if someone's lacking with bread, lacking with water, lacking with monetary value, so to speak, if you can't feed that individual uh, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, how dwelleth righteousness within you? How dwelleth the love and true knowledge of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai in you? It, do, it, it doesn't dwell in you, man. You know? Hey, because the Heavenly Father, the Heavenly Father's spirit is a, is, 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 is a caring spirit. So if you care for your fellow brethren, then that will show. It doesn't mean that you have to have these particular things on hand. That's not what that means, you know? But it, it, it means that you're able to aid or apply or add on to another man, right? The scriptures say what? Th that we comfort one another with these things, with these words. So now I'm, I'm, I'm going to um, I'm gonna get the book of Philippians. We're going to jump to the book of Philippians in the fourth chapter and the 11th verse. So if we get Philippians 4 and 11, I'll start at verse 9 and read down. It says, those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do. And the most high of peace shall be with you. So the heavenly father will be with you through it all, you know. But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly. That now at the last your care of me hath flourished again, wherein ye were also careful, but ye lacked opportunity. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. 
right? So if you learn to to to, to dwell in Yahweh Shem Shai and whatever a state that you're in and to be content therewith, then you have that same like mind towards your brother, whether he is exalted or whether he's brought down to a lower state. Because it goes it simply goes back to being spiritual. It simply goes back unto having that love and compassion of Yahweh Shem Shai, right? Because as it is written, let this mind be in you, which was also in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai, right? Because that's the beginning, that's the end, and that's what the true meaning and definition of having the Spirit of the Lord within you. People think it's all about love and, it's think of, and, 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 and scream about it being all about Jesus, this, this, that, and the third. But that's not it. Because that true Spirit of the Lord, it consists of more things than so-called love. But the scripture says to what? Let us not love in word or in tongue, but in deed and in truth. It's what you do. All right, so, so let's jump to Matthew chapter 25 and verse 34 to 40. It says, Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom pre prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was an hungered, and ye gave me meat. I was thirsty, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me in, naked, and ye clothed me. I was sick, and ye visited me. I was in prison, and ye came unto me. Then shall the righteous answer him, saying, Lord, when saw we thee in hunger, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick, or in prison, and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Right? So those things that you do for the men that you can see, you do unto the Lord whom, whom you claim to love, yet have not seen. You know, but your faith is in him, that he would deem you a righteous and humble servant upon his return, man. You know? Because without his blessing, without his, 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 his reward, then you're nothing and your life is useless and meaningless right because as it is written that there shall be many more of them created than of them that shall be saved and you got proud individuals upon planet earth right now bragging and boasting about being saved saved from what you're still in captivity you're still in debt you're still in anguish you're still in low spirits you're still through for the most part let's jump to first timothy chapter 6 verse 8 and having food and raiment, let us be therewith content. So be content with that which thou hast. And believe in your how about Shimi how shall wholeheartedly in an exalted estate, in a so-called uh bearable estate, and in a lower state. Hey, because the heavenly father, he is he that bringeth up, he is he that bringeth down, and he is he that that that, that taketh and giveth blessings, man. You know? And hey, because at the end of the day. That truth still still remains in your Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And the question is, what have you done for me lately? Hey, because there are going to a lot of it be a lot of individuals who are going to be shame faced in that day, man. Because they're confident in, in a prideful, boastful manner. And they're not confident in the reward that they shall receive based upon doing those things that were required originally. Romans chapter 11, verse 33. Oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out. So you can't put the Heavenly Father in the box, you know. You can't put the Heavenly Father in the box and you can't deem what the Heavenly Father has, I guess, you, so to speak, uh, blessed you with. As something simple and minute, right? So, in all the states, be thankful and, and 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 always praise the heavenly Father, because He is not unrighteous to forget your works and labor of love, in which ye do show and do in His in His holy name. You know, so a hey, most is willing. The edification was there. Blessed is he that readeth, man. And this is our work and our labor of love. And if the Heavenly Father asks the question right now, 
what have you done for me lately? What would you be able to say? Would you be confident in the answer? Would you be weary? You know? And so with that, most I willing edification was there until next time. I'd, I'd like to say Shalom.